guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we are going to put a hair straightener to the test on this thick, coarse, frizzy hair of mine. If this sounds like something you're interested in, then just keep watching. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. The hair straightener that we're putting to the test is the Black Diamond Professional Hair Straightener by Irresistible Me. And I wanna thank Irresistible Me for sending this to me to review on this channel and to share with you. The hair straightener has a pretty matte black finish and I like that because it doesn't seem like it's going to pick up fingerprints. You can also see the Irresistible Me logo right here and it's in a pretty rose gold and then all of the metallic components of this are also in the rose gold. Something that I noticed as soon as I took this out of the box is it does have a 360 degree swivel cord and oftentimes I need to really contort myself to reach the back of my hair and particular and this moves very easily so I think that this will stop it from getting tangled up in the hair. So let's see how long this takes to heat up. I'm going to go ahead and push the start button and I see right away that it has a digital readout. I always appreciate that. It looks like this will go all the way up to 450 degrees and even with my thick coarse hair I don't think that I would use it at that high of a temperature but it's nice to know that it has that range. This is coming up to temperature very quickly. Wow, that will really come in handy when I'm rushing to work. Now I noticed that I can lower the temperature so when I do my hair I think I'm going to bump this down to about 400 degrees to start and then depending on how it's working I might bump it up just a little bit box along with the hair straightener is a brochure and I do want to read this briefly because when I went on the Irresistible Me website, which I will link in the description box below by the way, they talk about some new technology and I'm really curious so let's see what they say about the hair straightener. Now I'm not going to read this entire brochure to you. I just want to point out the bullet points having to do with the features and technology because I really want to know for myself also how this differs from the flat iron that I use currently. So this says that it has an ionic generator inside, infrared technology, adjustable temperatures from 190 degrees all the way up to 450 degrees. That is a very impressive range. I think that if you had very fine, fragile hair, you could use this at the lower setting. And like I mentioned, I have very coarse, thick hair, so I would use it at the higher setting. It also says that it has a digital LCD display, which we did see when we were looking at the close-up and an ergonomic design. So now for the moment of truth, let's test out this hair straightener. I'm going to go ahead and take my jacket off just so that I don't get hair all over it. Since this is my very first time using this hair straightener, I decided to start out at a lower temperature. So I'm going to do the first pass at 370 degrees. And then if I feel that I need to increase it, I'll let you know. Now typically when I straighten my hair, I start at the back because we all know that that's the difficult part, right? It's the most tedious, but I really want to see the first impression on something that we can see together. So I'm going to start with a piece in the front. I'm going to come in tight because I want you to see exactly how this works. Before I put any heat tool on my hair, I will always use a heat protectant. This one I just picked up at Walmart. This is the L'Oreal Sleek it iron straight heat spray and it says that it gives you three days of sleek hair and it protects up to 450 degrees which works out perfectly because that's exactly how hot this straightening tool will go. Now I want to mention I am not by any stretch of the imagination a hairdresser or a hairstylist. This is just how I style my hair so I'm kind of the perfect person to test this because I'm just a regular person. So typically I will spray this into my hair about 10 inches away, because I do not want to fry my hair. And I want to pull it, oh, it looks crazier now than it did when I started. So I'm going to do this piece right here in the front, but I am going to section it off. So I'm just taking a comb and sectioning it off. And then I have just a couple of these clips that I like to use when I'm straightening my hair. And of course, I don't want it to be too wide, so I'm going to do a section about this wide. It's still a little too wide. Let's get rid of a little bit of that. And I'm just going to brush that smooth, and I'm going to come in tight. Now, I'm left-handed, so I know that my angles are going to be atrocious. I apologize ahead of time. So I'm going to come in close, and I'm going to put this right at the root. 
and make one slow pass. And I like to give it a little bit of a twist under to get this bend. And look how easily that straightened and curled that. So now that I see that the temperature, that is just one pass. And I have to say that it feels silky. And I don't say that about my hair very often. You can see the part that's not done right here. And you can see the difference in the texture. I thought I was going to have to go over this a couple of times, but honestly, I think that's passable. That's encouraging for a couple of reasons for me. Because I have such frizzy hair, heat tools just scare me. I'm happy to see that I could get a silky, straightened strand with one pass and that I don't have to bump the temperature up to the maximum. I've adjusted the camera angle a little bit because of the step that I'm about to do next. The way that I do the back of my hair, and this is no science by any stretch of the imagination, is I just pull a section straight up like this, and then if it feels like it's too thick, I'll pull some of that forward and out of the section. And then I'm just going to take the flat iron and put this as close to my roots as I can get it. And hopefully you're seeing this. I'm scooting down in the chair. And then I'm just slowly with one pass all the way to the end and turning it under. And I'm going to turn around just to show you what that looks like. So here's the section that I just did. Now because I have a stacked bob haircut, I can actually get away with just doing the top layer and leaving the rest full underneath. And that's what gives me a sleek but still a voluminous effect. So now I'm going to do the sides and I'm just going to do the same thing, sections at a time. And here I go with my weird left-handed angles. I'm going as close to the roots as I can. And I'm pulling down and under. And then I will pull some of this underneath section that I, I know from experience shows when my hair is styled. And again, I'm very close to the root. And I'm pulling it kind of forward and down because that's how I get this particular shape for my cut. And another section and you can see I'm not being precious with this at all. I really don't feel like I need to increase the heat on this and I'm really happy about that. I know I could bump it up higher but if I don't have to I don't want to. And I always sort of pull it toward my face and then down. I'm sure if there are any hairdressers watching this video, you are absolutely cringing at my technique, but it's what works for me. And that is looking pretty smooth. Okay, so I'm going to do the other side. And when I'm doing the side, just in case you're wondering, I start pulling from the back. So I did that one section down, and then as I'm pulling from the back, I'm picking up the pieces that are kind of the sides of the back of my head, if that makes sense. So I'm not missing that part. And at this stage of the game, I'm really glad that I wore a shirt that has sleeves so that you don't have to stare at my armpit the whole time I'm doing this. Because I wear sleeveless a lot when I'm filming, and I'm glad I didn't today. And again, one pass and bending it under. And then I'll pull some of this back here. This is the shorter hair from my bob. And my intention is to do this entire style with just one pass. I don't want to go over any of these sections twice if I can help it. laying very nicely, if I don't say so myself. I'll catch the bang in just a minute because as I mentioned, I do have a really hard to work with calic right there.
Now, because I'm doing this in the viewfinder of my camera, I really need to step over to a mirror and see what I'm doing, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back from my trip from the mirror and I feel encouraged because even though I can barely see what I'm doing, it's still starting to take shape. Now, if you watch my videos regularly, you know that fairly recently I had bangs cut in. And some days I like to have bangs and other days I don't. Sometimes I just like to do a side swoop. I do notice as I'm looking in the viewfinder that I missed a piece. So I am going to go back in and catch this one right here while I'm thinking of it. I also want to point out that when I go to my hairdressers, I love my hairdresser. She lives about 20 minutes away and I just drive to her house. Whenever she straightens my hair, she sprays each section with hairspray and it really holds all day. Because I'm testing out this straightening iron, I didn't want to use hairspray. I wanted to see what the iron did on its own. And you can definitely see the shape that my hair has taken and it has a little bit more bounce and movement to it. I have very, very thick, coarse hair that doesn't have a lot of movement. So any of that that I can get, I'm happy with. But I digress back to the bangs. So you can really see this pronounced calic in my hair. Whenever I decide that I want to wear bangs for the day, what I will do is section my hair off, clip it back out of the way, and then pull the hair forward with the straightener. So that's what I'm going to do. And again, I'm not going to be overly precise with this. I hate to mess up the part that I just styled, but I want to show you the bangs specifically. And then I can always just touch up the top layer again. Now this step will show you just how imprecise I am when I style my hair. I know that my bangs are in this vicinity, right? So I'm just going to take this entire block of hair. And it's not a very thick section, but it is a wide section. But honestly, this is how I do my bangs and I'm going to comb it straight. Sorry about the atrocious angles. Now in this section, my bangs are in the middle and then I have these longer parts that go off to the sides. I'm going to take this again very close to the root and it is not burning my forehead. I'm very happy about that. And I'm just bending under, bending under, bending under, right? <laughs> so I'm going to take the clips out and then this is how I find my bangs. Now, even though I can't see very well, I just want to show you that my bangs are a little long for right now to wear straight across. However, the flat iron did in fact smooth out that calic. So now I'm going to style my hair the way that I plan to wear it for the rest of the video, which is a side swoop. And all I do is come in with a side part I just want to fix a couple of sections really quickly. That's right where I had that clip. And the same on the other side, I can feel where I had the clip. And just bending it down. And I just want to take this bang section, since I'm doing it off to the side now, and give this one more good bend kind of off to the side rather than straight down. And right up against the root. And turning under, turning under, turning under. And I can actually see shine in the viewfinder. Once I've turned that section down, I will typically take a paddle brush and this is where I address the underneath part of my bob that is stacked. And I'm just kind of reinforcing this downturn. And then I am going to hit my hair with a little bit of light shine spray and hairspray. And that helps with the little baby hairs that want to pop up. So my overall impression of this hair straightener is it did a really good job with my thick, coarse hair. I especially like the fact that you can have it from a very low setting all the way up to 450 degrees, which I didn't need. I also like the fact that I could do a section in one pass. The straightening iron that I have currently before I got this one, usually it would take about three passes per section. So this way I can expose my hair to less heat. I am going to go ahead and link this exact straightening iron in the description box below. And again, I wanna thank Irresistible Me for sending this out to me. 
Speaking of Irresistible Me, I feel like I would be remiss if I did not mention their amazing clip-in hair extensions. I did an entire video on that, and I will try to remember to link that in the cards above. These hair extensions are made out of 100% human hair. They have the perfect amount of sheen. It's not that fake, shiny, doll hair looking extension at all. And they are so easy to put in. They have little mechanisms on each of the strips that's kind of like a barrette and you just snap them into place. I'm showing you some footage of me with the hair extensions in. I was so lucky that I got a perfect match. I love, love, love these hair extensions. I am going to list these hair extensions down below as well as any discount codes that I can find. Now, for those of you that watch my videos primarily for affordable fashion, I feel like I would be remiss if I didn't go over my outfit of the day. So let's go ahead and talk about that. This fun animal print v-neck tee that I have on is from my Old Navy haul and try on that I just uploaded yesterday. And I'll try to remember to link that in the cards above. I got this tee and another one in a camo print for $6. I think it is a great value. I love the way this particular animal print pops. I'm going to put on a jacket that I have from last season that is from Walmart, the brand Time and True. I love this cognac colored moto style knit jacket so much. You can throw it in the washer, you can throw it in the dryer. I've washed mine at least five times. It has just enough structure where it gives you that moto shape, but honestly, it feels like wearing a sweatshirt. The jeans that I have on are from my Target versus Walmart haul from the fall season, but if I can find it, I'll try to link that in the cards above. These are a pair of mid-rise skinny jeans by the brand Universal Thread. I have been living in these jeans since I bought them. I own a bunch of skinny jeans and I just keep reaching for these. They fit me perfectly. I love the wash. They come out of the washer and dryer beautifully. I have probably washed these without exaggeration 50 times and they're still going strong. I'm going to show you a couple of different shoe options with my outfit of the day. All of the shoe options that I'm showing you are pieces that are just out of my own closet and not necessarily in stores right now, but I feel certain that you could find something similar to every single one of these. And this completes my look of the day. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend with me. I truly appreciate it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider hitting that subscribe and notification bell. That way you'll see my future videos. Until next time, bye guys.